Hi, I'm Danilo. I'm part of the developer relations team in AWS. Uh, hi, Bob. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Yeah, hi, Danilo. Can you introduce yourself and, and Kazoo? Sure. So I'm Bob Gregory. I used to be the chief architect at Kazoo. I'm now an engineering coach. Uh, Kazoo is an online car retailer in the UK. And what does Kazoo differently from other companies that, um, that sell cars online? So I think Kazoo was one of the first uh, movers in kind of the current wave of online car retailers. So I think other people had tried it before, but maybe the market wasn't quite ready. Um, so when Kazoo launched, really there were aggregators like Autotrader, but there wasn't anyone who was really doing e-commerce for cars. That wasn't really a market segment. And actually kind of the used car market was really the last retail sector that hadn't yet made that online transition. So Kazoo was lucky to be in the right time at the right place, I think. So I can buy a car online and how much does it take to have it delivered at my own? Uh, 72 hours uh, is the shortest lead time. That's amazing. So how did you start and grow so quickly? from an infrastructure point of view? I mean, infrastructurally, we've been on serverless technology since day one, right? So um, actually, it's quite easy to scale. I don't have to scale it. Um, I think the most of the challenges we had were around how do you decompose this kind of very complex domain model? It turns out the cars are a very complex product to sell. Uh, they have lots of um, legal requirements around you know, like tax and MOT. Um, there's this whole complex registration thing. There's vehicle finance, which is like secured asset finance. All of these things are very complex domains. So actually most of the complexity at Kazoo in terms of scaling has been, how do we take this very large set of uh, complex domain problems and partition them amongst teams and grow the team very quickly rather than the infrastructure, which was thanks to you, very, very easy. And how, how did you end up with this idea of using a serverless architecture? Uh, from my perspective, I came into Kazoo very early and I knew I wanted to go serverless from day one. Um, I'd built a platform service uh, internally at a previous job, which was also an e-commerce company. Um, and that took us about five years um, of kind of iteration to kind of experiment with technology, see what worked and what didn't. Um, and it was great, but it was an awful lot of work to kind of get the ops team and the engineers to the point where they were comfortable working with those technologies and we could maintain and in, in production. Um, serverless for us meant we could skip to that end goal, right? Where you want elastic scale, you want resilience, you want ease of use. Those things came out of the box for us with AWS Lambda and the kind of the associated ecosystem, rather than us having to build it in-house. So as you're growing so fast, I think also that the team is growing. So how do you onboard new software developers? So we actually run a thing we call Tech Academy. And we have like a boot camp process uh, where now, this has only just really started, but as a new engineer at Kazoo, you will start on a given um, start date along with a cohort of other people who are starting on that date. And you will go through like a week-long training scheme with those other engineers where we introduce you to the domain model. We talk about our ways of working. So you know, we have a particular flavor of Agile that we use. We use kind of collaborative play, like uh, event storming or domain storytelling. We do that kind of thing with them. Um, but part of that tech academy is we do a serverless workshop where engineers build and deploy their first Lambda functions in the space of an afternoon and then learn how to use observability tools to look at them in production, that kind of thing. So would you like to share what you're working next? Uh, in terms of technology, really we're now kind of into an optimization phase. So we've proven we can sell cars online and that people will buy them, that we can you know, move them around. Next, we want to kind of optimize every part of that journey to drive margin. So we'll be looking at kind of you know, machine learning, um, image recognition techniques to improve operational efficiency. That's really where we're going next. Thank you so much, Bob. It's been a really interesting talk. And yeah, let's chat again next time. I look forward to it.